Germany's Rheinmetall has presented its first new battle tank since the 1970s, the KF-51 Panther, a successor to the Leopard and Leopard II of the Cold War era, with a name recalling the Nazi-era Panzerkampfwagen V Panther that served from 1943. The vehicle's appearance has been widely speculated to be timed to follow the outbreak of war in Ukraine earlier in the year, which led to newfound importance being attributed to armored warfare in Europe. It has been rumored that Rheinmetall has been working on a new tank since at least 2014 or 15, when a rise in hostilities with Russia, followed by an unveiling of the Russian T-14 Armada next-generation tank, was seen to have added urgency to such a program. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at what makes the KF-51 Panther different to the others. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. Intended as a counter to the Russian T-34, the German Panther proved to be a very lethal tank. The Panther's excellent combination of firepower, mobility, and protection served as a benchmark for other nations' late war and post-war tank designs and it is regarded as one of the best tanks of World War II. Today, the Panther name is still keeping up with its famous reputation by making more and more improvements in the shape of the new KF-51 Panther. The June 2022 return of the World Exhibition dedicated to land armaments, Eurosatory 2022, four years after the last edition in 2018, was an opportunity for Rheinmetall to present a new generation tank demonstrator, the new KF-51 Panther. According to Rheinmetall, the new 130mm gun would prove to be 50% more effective than the one that equips the Leopard 2 today. The main battle tank concept sets new standards in all areas – lethality, protection, reconnaissance, networking, and mobility. In developing the KF-51, Rheinmetall not only set out to modernize existing main battle tank concepts starting from scratch, it completely reconceived the platform. The KF-51 Panther can be easily updated and equipped with the latest capabilities and functions. Its advanced, modular, and open NGVA system architecture enables repetitive development which can then be updated in harmony with innovation cycles. The KF-51 is the first representative of a new generation of combat vehicles. Soon, future innovations will enable environmentally friendly peacetime operations and further optimization regarding automation and combat effectiveness. The external design of the KF-51 seems standard for a main battle tank, but it features many new and modern technologies. Indeed, the KF-51 has a crew of three, the commander and gunner in the turret, and the driver in the chassis, but if necessary, a fourth crew member can board the vehicle as a specialist crew station operator. Two crew stations are located in the chassis, with one dedicated to the driver and an operational station dedicated to a company commander, a drone operator, or a wingman pilot. The KF-51 Panther fulfills the core capability of dominate and destroy. Rarely has the sheer power of a main battle tank been more impressive. With the Rheinmetall future gun system, consisting of a 130mm cannon, a fully automated ammunition handling system, and the additional armament options of the Hero 120 loitering ammunition, the Panther has concentrated firepower for long-range strikes in multi-target engagements. This amazing tank employs a groundbreaking, fully integrated, comprehensive, weight-optimized protection concept, incorporating active, reactive, and passive protection technologies. Without a doubt, the concept's most compelling feature is its active protection against kinetic energy threats. It increases the level of protection without compromising the weight of the system. To increase its protection, the KF-51 Panther is also fitted with the Rheinmetall Top Attack Protection System to ward off threats from above, while the fast-acting ROSI Smoke Obscurance System conceals the KF-51 from enemy observation. Moreover, its digital NGVA architecture enables the integration of additional sensors for detecting launch signatures. Thanks to its pre-shot detection capability, the KF-51 Panther can recognize and neutralize threats at an early stage. The standout survivability feature is undoubtedly the active KE protection which increases protection levels without affecting the system weight. As a system designed to operate in a contested electromagnetic spectrum, the Panther is fully cyber-hardened. 
The KF-51 Panther is fitted with a two-man turret, which is armed with the 130mm Rheinmetall Future Gun System, consisting of a 130mm smoothbore gun and a fully automatic ammunition handling system. The autoloader holds 20 ready rounds. Compared to current 120mm systems, the Future Gun System delivers over 50% greater effectiveness at significantly longer ranges of engagement. The Future Gun System can fire kinetic energy rounds as well as programmable airburst ammunition and corresponding practice rounds. The second armament of the KF-51 Panther consists of one 12.7mm coaxial machine gun that complements the main gun. Multiple remote-controlled weapon station integration options give flexibility in proximity and drone defense. The optional Hero 120 loitering ammunition capability, similar to that of the US Switchblade 600 loitering ammunition, expands the Panther's strike capability to non-line-of-sight targets and can be mounted depending on role and mission requirements. All weapons are connected with targeting sites and the fire control computer through the fully digitalized architecture, allowing for hunter-killer and killer-killer operation, seamless target engagements, and future artificial intelligence decision support. Thanks to the panoramic stabilized electro-optical sighting system, optical sensor, and EAMS main combat aiming device, the commander and gunner are both able to observe and engage targets independently of each other, both day and night, while the stabilized daylight and IR optic with integrated laser rangefinder is available to both. In addition, via a display in the fighting compartment, the crew has 360-degree round-the-clock view of the vehicle's surroundings. The tank is designed to control assigned unmanned aerial vehicles such as onboard or offboard drones, loitering ammunition, and a range of unmanned ground vehicles. The fully digitized system and common crew stations are the enablers for true human-machine teaming and control of wingman UGVs that cover capabilities such as platoon-level air and drone defense. The KF-51 has a combat weight of just 59 tons, providing far greater mobility than current systems. This puts it in a battle-winning weight category, and it also fits the tunnel profile AMOV P4L without preparation, a requirement that no current main battle tank upgrade fulfills. Consequently, the KF-51 Panther excels in tactical and strategic mobility. In terms of mobility, the KF-51 Panther is built on the mobility concept of the Leopard 2 main battle tank. With an operational weight of just 59 tons, it delivers far greater mobility than current systems and has a maximum operating range of around 500 kilometers. It remains uncertain how the Panther's unveiling could affect work on the joint main ground combat system program being pursued jointly by France and Germany, but this will likely depend on whether and in what numbers the German army intends to integrate the Panther and how soon it is ready for service. The tank may well be considered a stopgap until the newer design is ready for service, which may take until the 2040s. The KF-51 Panther is the first new Western tank to be developed since the Cold War, other than the British Challenger II, which entered service in 1993, over 30 years before the new German design will be combat ready. With both Russian and Western powers having invested relatively little in clean sheet tank designs after the Cold War, with the T-14 being the notable exception, albeit one which has yet to be fielded in significant numbers, there is a high possibility that the Panther's unveiling could fuel accelerated development of new tanks in the United States, Russia, and possibly East Asia and in European countries, such as Britain and France which have not produced tanks for some years. Indeed, with the Leopard 2 and American M1 Abrams having initially been pursued as part of a joint program and sharing many design aspects, the possibility that the hull of the Abrams could see a similar modification in the near future in coordination with the German program and to ensure compatible ammunition remains significant. Like the T-14, the Panther threatens to disrupt the status quo in the West and Russia, where conservative investments on both sides have meant no party is willing to invest heavily in a new 21st century design in order to reduce expenditures. The extent to which the KF-51 Panther may fuel a new tank arms race remains to be seen. What do you think of this impressive new vehicle? Are there any other feats of engineering you'd like to see us cover? 
Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications. Thanks for watching.